Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? The Saints on Monday will head to Carolina, take on the Panthers. And you know one of the one of the things we talk about often is how narratives become accepted as fact. And then people who have accepted those narratives as their truth only then seek affirmation. You only point out the thing that affirms your belief and you ignore any evidence that points to the contrary. Um, for a long time, it was, the Saints don't draft LSU players. The Saints hate LSU players. There were plenty of instances where the Saints signed LSU players to undrafted free agent contracts. They brought them in as free agents. There's plenty of, of examples of that. And there were LSU Tigers that were drafted. But you all could, so could look at other places say, well, how often do the Atlanta Falcons draft Georgia Bulldogs? How often do the Miami Dolphins draft Miami Hurricanes? It's, it's not as common. There has to be a guy on the board at a position you seek where you have them graded and needed. It's just it doesn't always work out that way. Anyway, but people believe that narrative as and accept it as reality and only point to affirming information. Um, I think something else we've seen in that respect for a lot of years is this belief among Saints fans that the Saints do terribly against rookie quarterbacks. So when you look at having to place Bry uh, face Bryce Young and Anthony Richardson and C.J. Stroud this year, there's probably a lot of nervous fa Saints fans. Look, 1999, when the, the, new in the reincarnation of the Cleveland Browns, Tim Couch got his first win on a Hail Mary in 1999 in the Dome. Rookie quarterback. RG3, 2012. We all, unfortunately, remember that game where the, the Redskins came in in the season opener and won 40-32. And RG3 was awesome in that game. He threw for 320 yards. Um, 2015, rookie Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Week 2 won in the Superdome. Another rookie quarterback. Jalen Hurts as a rookie in 2020. He didn't particularly have a great day, but the Eagles beat the Saints in up in Philly in 2020. So there's this, this belief sort of that the Saints struggle against rookie quarterbacks. However, in a hat tip to uh, StatMuse via Saints Wire. So I think Saints Wire got the info from StatMuse and published it. That's where I saw it. I always give attribution. Last year, the Saints were 2-1 and one against rookie quarterbacks. They lost to Kenny Pickett. Since 2017, right, that was the year where they drafted Lattimore and Ramchick, really when the turnaround began after the back-to-back-to-back 7-9 season. So since 2016, the Saints are 15-6 and six against rookie quarterbacks. And if you go back to 2006, Sean Payton's first year, the Saints are 39-19. and 19 against rookie quarterbacks. Basically, two-thirds of their games against rookie quarterbacks, they win. So you're going to face Bryce Young twice this year. You're going to face C.J. Stroud, and you're going to face Anthony Richardson. You should win three of those four. You should. You should win three of those four. Now, three of the four are on the road. You're at Carolina this week. You're at Houston. You're at Indy. And you get Carolina at home later in the year. But Bryce Young in week one... 20 of 38 for a buck 46, a touchdown, and two picks. Listen, his coach, Frank Reich, Monday talked about his rookie quarterback, Bryce Young's first game in the NFL. I think Bryce played well. I thought he threw the ball away a couple times. I think he had probably three or four throwaways where he's not taking sacks over the long haul. That's going to help us as a team. It's going to help us stay in phase and not take sacks. It's going to help him stay healthy. You know, those throwaways don't help your stats, but um, they sure help our football team. And I thought he did a great job with that. And I thought he threw the ball accurately. And like I said, you know, we had the we had the two interceptions. The one, I, the one I don't put on him at all, but the second, you know, and the second one was kind of couple different factors but sure can we all get better can I get better can Bryce yeah we can all get better but I thought overall he played he played solid football a Saints defense that just scored three interceptions in week one and a run defense that proved to be pretty stout against Derrick Henry in the second half that is a really tough ask for Bryce Young against that Saints defense we saw on Sunday 
coming up on Monday Night Football. you got to love the Saints' opportunity to go to Carolina and get a win. Yes, even though they're facing a rookie quarterback, which, as the stats show, isn't as daunting as you may think. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.